All right, Jason Grilly, my my Long Island native friend, Jason Grilly, um, who I drafted with all good intentions, and then didn't play for three weeks. I still haven't played him. You still, you still, you still he's not been active on my roster yet. Although I see the stats, and I just don't know what to do. I have Papel Bond, who's fine when he's in, and I and I have you have Chapman. Chapman. I'm yeah. not going to sit Chapman. I'd, I'd play him over Papel Bond right now. I would. The Pirates play closer games. And he actually gets. Work. I can't argue because he actually and he actually gets work in non-save situations, just in case they're not winning that week, where Papelbon just that doesn't apply to him. Well, how? I mean, what, he was kind of a journeyman. Yeah, absolutely. Played for Team Italy at the WBC. One point oh nine whip uh, ERA and a point seven three. It's like Mariano like. It is, and, and now he's striking out more batters at fourteen batters per nine innings. That's higher than any at any other point of his career. Uh, maybe it's career year for him. Maybe he's got it all together. I mean, it's. The one thing you can have where I talk about FIP and XFIP with all these pitchers, those are for starters. And the sample generally provides itself long enough over the year, over 200 or so innings, that everything will even itself out. With closers, it's not the same thing. They're only going to pitch 70 to 75 innings. You can maintain a... Look at Fernando Rodney last year. Everything's coming back on him now, where he's now given up as many runs this year through six weeks as he did all last year. But that's because the sample has now built itself out to be long enough. With Grilly... It could sustain itself all year long. And he's playing on a team that plays in close games. And that's huge. That is huge for, there's like I said, there's a reason that the San Francisco Giants closer ends up near the top of the league in saves every year. Because they play a ton of close games. Yeah. Same as the Angels. That's where the manager uses them, too. But uh, he, He's been amazing. I, he even did a promo for my show. He did. He's a big fan of yours. I, I, I don't know. I, I got to play him, I guess. Yeah, I, I, think was, you do. I think it's a sign from God. Take it back. Wandy Rodriguez. Now, Wandy, Wandy, I always liked Wandy, and I always thought he just didn't have a team, you know. And, and hey, he played for some decent Astros teams. Decent. I think he's got a team here. I, you know, I don't know that they're a playoff team, but I think it's a team that he can, he actually, actually can perform with. So his ERA isn't amazing, you know, 3.2, but uh, he's pitching to a fantastic whip, 1.06, uh, and he had a great week this week. Where do you see Wandy? You know who hates Wandy Rodriguez? Who's that? Advanced statistics. Why is that? Because he's getting incredibly lucky. Incredibly lucky. Out of all these guys, his batting average of balls in play is down around 230, which is a pretty unsustainable number unless you're Matt Kane, the super outlier, who I, I think after building up six years of going who under. Who came up with this stat? I don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? People, the pitcher never gets credit for getting the ground ball to the Defender who was put there by the coach, and the coach tells him to pitch it in a certain place, so he hits it to that guy. Because we've seen over the course, we've tracked the last 30 years of data, and the thing is, once a ball is in play, no one really has any control of where it goes. You, the hitter doesn't know where he's hitting it. The pitcher can try to put the ball down and get him to hit a ground ball, but it can just take a weird hop off right. off the dirt and just go you know, one inch outside of the shortstop's glove. Now, if it's one inch the other way, it's an out. So it's that's it's not luck as in hey he's getting super lucky as in you know he's never getting anyone to you know what I mean well, it's, it's it's a stat that you just can't control and it does normalize we've seen it the stats bear out that you're going to end up somewhere between a good pitcher is going to end up somewhere between 270 right. and 290 and on the other end I mean the baseline is 290 for this so if you're you know 60 points below that it's going to come back up especially when we look at the other advanced statistics right now he's his, his walks per 9 is half of what it is for his career so he just developed control overnight just it completely seems to overnight. Me that a lot of people doing things this year that they weren't able to do previously. I, I don't. So, so what you're telling me though is, well, his Wandy is not for you. No, his expected ERA, his FIP, is up around 4.7. That's almost two full runs higher than his ERA. Meaning that it's even if he goes halfway there, he's not doing too well anymore. Either you have it wrong, no, or that's, that, I, I have it right. The the public is smarter than I'm giving them credit for. Because he's only on seventy six percent of rosters, and he only uh, starts on forty percent of team, forty seven percent of teams, and he had a pretty decent week this week. And I'm I was a little surprised when I went to look that up. So he's not fooling people. No, well the thing is, it's a mistake not to have him on your team right now. Just because I don't like his long term output, it doesn't mean in the short term that these sample size eventually mm-hmm. over a long enough sample size, it's going to go back the other way. But in the short term, as long as he keeps pitching well, why not have him? Francisco Liriano. Um, what do you think about Francisco? Uh, he's I, he's 
just I have him every time that he's available. The, the strikeout rate is just so enticing that I just overlook all the other horrible, horrible things that go along with him. I, I owned him the first season when he came up as a rookie, and he led me to a fantasy championship before he it was a long time before he blew his arm out. But he was Johan Santana light. He was. Time. That's exactly what he was. That nasty slider, which he still has, if he can rein it in. And right now, the one thing. Yeah, you know, he's striking out 13 batters per nine innings. That yeah, but look at his wit. That yeah, that, well, that's the other thing. He's also walking four batters per nine he innings. He throws it. He doesn't know where it's going. Well, some I mean, nobody you know what? knows where it's going. They can't hit it, and he doesn't know where he's throwing it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Maybe the National League, the 1. NL Central. 1.55. Five. Yeah, it's not good. It's the same as it's basically the same as his ERA right now. How is that possible? How do you have a 1.6 ERA and a 1.6? Well, it, it's funny because he, he's only pitched the 13 innings. What's his strand rate? He must be leaving every single person he gets on. Ha- actually, no. His batting average of balls in play is wildly high, and the strand rate is incredibly low, or is incredibly low. It's, it's really well, are bizarre. Are these numbers wrong? No, it's just he keeps getting out of jams, and every time he puts people on base, they tend to score on him. Well, he's not putting people on base often, though. Yeah, it's really weird. It's such a small sample size that the numbers are all out of whack. But long term, look, he's going to be available. He's going to be one of the best strikeout pitchers in baseball. And pitching in the National League is good for a pitcher. It's better than pitching in anywhere in the AL. Yeah. So you might as well take a chance on him. He does have a super high ceiling. He's going to crash and burn eventually because he's Francisco Liriano. But you might be able to get an awesome half season out of him. My, my thing with him is I think, you know, when he got online for parts... <laughs> they screwed up. I mean, he got exceptional parts that work very well, but they're not very durable. That's I mean, true. He's not. He, he just can't throw two games in a row without getting hurt. Something. Yeah, look, I, well, he's available. Well, he's pitching well. Have him on your team. 